Hi everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video I'll just be doing a quick update on some projects that I've been working on, um, sort of in honor of the 2500 subscriber mark, which I realize is coming up very quickly. Um, so I've built what's known as a ketene lamp uh, before, which is basically a device that uh, pyrolyzes acetone at high temperature into uh, a compound known as ketene, which then reacts with water or acetic acid to form uh, acetic anhydride. It's an interesting process, it works really well, it's robust, it just takes a while. And so I've been experimenting with different ketene lamp configurations. This is the heating element from one of my old ketene lamps. And you can see it's uh, just a piece of, uh, what was that, nichrome N80. So it's 80% nickel, 20% chromium, some 14 gauge copper wire that just comes through a two hole stopper. Uh, the seal is kind of degrading on that and uh, the nichrome falls apart a little. Anyway, um, this gets stuck in the middle neck of a three neck uh, round bottom here and it gets put in a position sort of like this and uh, you get acetone vapors run up through here and then uh, they kind of come up this way and then the acetone drips back down as it's refluxing and then the heat from this nichrome uh, vaporizes that acetone and also uh, generates ketene and the ketene passes the condenser. The acetone gets returned and the return path of the acetone drips past the stopper which helps keep it cool. So this method worked pretty well but this, fil uh, this filament is kind of small. Also you might notice that uh, you can see the filament currently is caught on this and it's touching the uh, the wire here, so that's obviously not good. That'll cause a short. It'll burn out the uh, the nichrome. I just drive this with a variac, by the way. So I've come up with Mark II. I have uh, videoed pretty much all of the construction of this. This is the new ketene lamp apparatus. You can see same style, except we have a better seal here on the stopper, and the uh, filament itself is much farther away from the stopper, which is going to keep it nice and cool and keep that connection solid. I also have more nichrome on that, and then the uh, the insulation on these copper wires is just glass tubing. To build this, I first started with a piece of this 12 gauge copper wire here, and I pulled all the uh, the wire out of the insulation, so I had some uh, strips of just regular copper wire. I then cut a couple pieces of glass tubing to fit, uh, one longer, one shorter, that way I could uh, I could make the connections and make sure that uh, the wires were sheathed so that the element couldn't touch the wire. Um, and then I just uh, I stuck the tubing on the on the wire itself, and then I wound a filament using this pen uh, makes a decent filament mold. And this is going to go into a uh, uh, 250 milliliter chromatography reservoir that you saw right there, um, and then just using a standard Claisen adapter. So anyway, this is the uh, the finished ketene lamp here, all assembled and ready to go. And this just goes right onto a pot of acetone and a heating mantle. The heating mantle uh, drives. The acetone vapor past the coil, um, and then the condenser hooks up over here so you can return the acetone but pass the ketene. Anyway, I'll be uh, doing that in very, very shortly in an upcoming video, so I hope you stay tuned to watch that. Thanks for watching.